Hello everyone, this is Simply Cooking Volume 1 and today we're making barbecue chicken. Now I just have barbecue chicken thighs and just simply I just cleaned them and I put um, garlic powder, onion powder, gourmet blend which has different herbs and spices in it and I use um, sea salt. I like sea salt better than table salt, it's less salty and you know where your salt is going. So, also I have some onions and garlic, two, a, a half a cup of barbecue sauce, half a cup of ketchup to make my barbecue sauce to start it off. We're going to put some Tabasco sauce in it, got to have the heat, and a half a cup of water. So, so I'm going to set my chicken to the side for right now. Okay, so what we're going to do first, I put a pat of butter into my pan to heat it up so I can put in my onion and my garlic. I just wanted to just sweat a little bit which means to release its natural oniony and garlicky goodness. That's basically all I'm doing here. I just wanted to sweat just a little bit to um because I'm gonna cook it and I like onion and garlic into my um items, into my foods, and I like the taste of it, I like to see it. I'm a big onion and garlic fan. I'm gonna cook it up just a little bit. You don't want it to burn. If it browns, it's okay because it's going right into the chicken, into the oven, and um, you won't even notice. It'll be nice and golden and just caramelized and great. So in this case, I don't mind that it's turning brown. Normally you wouldn't want that, but in this case, I don't mind. And it's sticking a little bit to the bottom of the pan, even though we put butter in there. And that's good because it'll, uh, when we put the sauce and the water in there, it'll deglaze the pan, which means get off all that good, crisp, crusty bits. Great. That's some good eating right there. The smell is, mm, mm, mm. There's nothing like onion and garlic. Nothing. Okay, we're going to stop here. As you can see, they're still kind of thick, but that, I like it. You can cook yours a little bit longer, turn your flame down, and cook yours a little bit longer if you choose. Put in your half a cup of water. That'll deglaze the pan. That'll help to continue to cook the um, onion and garlic. You can also use chicken stock if you choose or white wine, but um, I just use water because again it's going into the oven and it's barbecue sauce. So I like my barbecue sauce as smoky and as flavorful as possible. So I just use water and water is good enough. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to get this to a little boil right now. So in the meantime, while that's going, let's put your chicken inside the pan. A nice clean pot. Take your chicken, nice and seasoned. I even put a few slits in there to um, help the seasoning soak up into the meat, into the flesh. I 
I left the skin on. You can take the skin off. That's your choice. But I left the skin on because it just keeps the meat moist and juicy. See how nice and seasoned that is? I left it in the refrigerator. Seasoned it. Left it in the refrigerator for about four hours. I'm gonna do this barbecue sauce in a two-step process. See now when I put the um this in, it's gonna be kind of thin because of the water. And I'm gonna put it in there just as a nice marinade almost. And then I'm gonna come back and make it a little bit thicker. So it can nice it can stick to the um the chicken and be nice. Put this in your half a cup of ketchup and your half a cup of um barbecue sauce. I use ketchup because ketchup gives you that nice tomato taste and barbecue sauce gives you that smoky taste. So to me, it's like the best of both worlds. It's not too barbecue-y, smoky, but it's not too tomato as well. And sometimes, sometimes you see like chilies and so forth that is just tomato based and it's almost like eating spaghetti. So. I like a nice mixture. So see how that's coming together? It's still on the thick side. But I like all the onions and so forth. Like I said, you can chop the onions and garlic smaller and, um, and then cook it just so. Or you can just chop them smaller and just throw it directly onto the meat and it'll cook into um, when it goes into the oven. So let's taste, always taste. It's very good. Now when you put things into the oven, especially oil and meat, the meat leaches water. So your sauce is going to taste a little bit different than when you first made it. So that's why I'm going to put some on now. I'm going to take a few de um, drops of Tabasco sauce because I like a little heat. Two, three, four, five. I did six actually. Just for a little bit of heat. Okay. I'm going to put some of this sauce on top of the meat. Turn the flame off and turn your oven on to 350. I just want it to cook into the chicken. If you put all the sauce on, by the time you take the chicken out, especially chicken, um, if you had ribs, it's different because the, um, the ribs don't leach a lot of um, water. So, if you put all this on the chicken, it'll leach so much water that your sauce will be all thin and runny. So, it's kind of like, what's the point? Then you have no sauce, you got to make it again or take the sauce, the, the liquid out of the chicken and make another sauce. So, I just want to cover it simply like that. Because you will see in about an hour. So turn your oven to 350 for about 60 minutes. My oven is fast. Your oven may be a little bit slower. So you can turn it to um, 350 for maybe about an hour and a half. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make, add more sauce. And, um, and put it on top and put it back into the oven. So you can have a nice, sticky, um texture to it which barbecue sauce should be doesn't that look good so far yes 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 I'm enjoying it already so stay tuned okay we're back I just whipped up some Idahoan buttery uh, golden selects mashed potatoes I like them because they taste like mashed potatoes like the fresh mashed potatoes but it's easy to do two cups of water you put it in the pot, let it boil, put the um, potatoes in, 
Let it set, you're done. That's it. No bunch of stirring, nothing like that. You're good. Okay, I'm going to plate now. Now I heated up the rest of my sauce that I had from the chicken. As you can see, the chicken came out looking pretty delicious. A little nice dollop of potatoes. Look how rich those potatoes look. Look just homemade. I'm going to take a nice chicken thigh. Plate it right here, right on top. Remember that good old sauce that we had? Make a little bit of that nice barbecue sauce right on top so they can get a nice bite of our homemade sauce, our semi-homemade sauce. Tastes great. Looks great. Excellent. I thank you for joining episode one of Simply Cooking. See you next time.